everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm here today to review BMY. BMY was a gap I did this morning and I took a stop in and then I just was going to leave it and then I was here today because I had a furniture delivery and I was watching my charts and I decided to do a, a late trade in this and it ended up working out. So probably some people in the room did it as well watching this i know some people still were in it but i did take a stop in this and did a second trade in it later in the day and worked that is not something i do all the time but it is something i teach in the class i'm out of this now but it looks like it's still going um this could probably drop now into the close but i got it to the first number to the target i wanted it to and got back uh from being down this morning and made profits then this afternoon and when that happens you just take it so let's first go over the morning trade that stopped. Okay. So here in the morning, I was aggressive with this. Okay. I was aggressive with this. It dropped, it broke, it rallied up. Okay. And this looked great. It looked like it was going to go here. In fact, I was up money at, at, at this point, except for the fact then it bounced back really hard. And then I had pushed the stop back to 50 and it took me out. So that was it. So, I mean, I literally was thinking about killing it here and then I didn't even have time and it just took me right out. So I took the stop. This then again, looked like it was gonna break down, but I kept talking all day in the morning in the room about how the fact that this was gonna be sideways. People were trying to go long this, people were trying to short it, but it's a great example again of my ability to be able to read institutional selling and buying. I knew that the institutions weren't buying this today, despite the rally it had here and the lift over the high twice. And despite the fact it wasn't breaking the low, really going, it wasn't full on red. It was really being held down. The resistance level was being held down with people in control of the stock, and that was in the gap was the shorts. So it was a good gap. It was a valid gap to short, despite the fact it took a stop in it. I normally do not like to do retakes unless I have 100% conviction something's going to go on to work. And I very rarely trade the afternoon. I might do it four times a year. And anyways, to make a long story short, I did end up doing another trade in this. So I'm going to go over this with you. And it was only because really I was here, it was around the house, and I ended up, uh, you know, watching my charts. Usually I step away from what I'm doing. So anyways, this dropped broke, fell. 12 o'clock is a major reversal time. And so in a 15-minute chart, I shorted this stock once it broke 50 again at 99, and I did a very tight stop. Very, 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 very tight. Okay, right here, 50.25, it was boom or bust for me because I felt that if it rallied back and did a buy setup right in here, that it wasn't going to work because it hadn't broke the low yet from the morning. Okay, and it was 12 o'clock major reversal time. But I like the fact it broke in here, but, you know, it, I might have lost. I didn't, but I was taking a chance. It ended up working out. $49 was the number. Boom, boom, boom. This is still going. Took it out and off in the sell-up bar right in here. Okay, so... Got a quick secondary move in this in the afternoon. I'm sure some other people might still even be in this, but I would bar by bar it now, but I will tell you that it looks good and probably now is going to break 49, but I'm not going to see that number. So this ended up working just like I thought today. Unfortunately, it did not work immediately in the morning. Sometimes that happens. And I will go over this more in the webinar on Monday uh, about what happened with this. But I think that this, this gap, this gap itself was a good, good example of Number one, my rating system to be able to determine that it was a short, despite the fact that it didn't break early, which they usually do. Here, this goes. Look at this. It's going to break. Four, it just broke forty nine. Now, this probably this could go to another dollar, but you know. Anyways, it's a good example of my twenty six point golden gap rating system and and my ability to be able to read what's really happening in the chart. What's happening in the chart is that it wasn't getting bought. And what's happening in the chart is that it was getting sold. So it was just whether or not the level was going to push down to sell off to continue to sell off today, or it just wasn't going to push up and rally. And this did end up working out very nicely. Let's quick look at the market. Market's just sideways here. Nothing really to look at there. Anyways, BMI was the Sox was show. Watch today, top watch. Failed in the morning. You could have retaken it way earlier than I did, but I didn't. Um, I wanted the confirmation, and I felt the major reversal time uh, was the confirmation. So if you're interested in the Golden Gap course, I'm running a special. Today is the last day of it. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. If you would like to sign up for the Golden Gap class, which is next weekend, I'm running a special through today. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.